Hey everyone, another bonus video from the days of self-isolation. My files on my computer have gotten a bit disorganized, so often now when I go to retrieve different assemblies, I end up with, bam, a bunch of regeneration failures. Let me see down here. I have a bunch of missing components in this particular assembly. Let me retrieve another one. And then again, regeneration failures because Creo Parametric can't find the different models. The way that Creo Parametric works is that when it, you retrieve an assembly, it's going to look for the components in your computer's RAM if they're already opened up. Then it will look in the assembly from, excuse me, the folder from which you opened up the assembly and then your working directory. If it doesn't find it in any of those different places, you get a regeneration failure and you can right click and retrieve missing component and hopefully you can find it somewhere on your computer. To alleviate that, you can use different config.pro options. So if I go to file options, configuration editor, in your config.pro file, you can put in a couple different options. If you click on the find button and type in the keyword search, you have the ability to use search path and you can have uh, it point to a particular folder on your computer or you can use search path file, which is a text file that lists all the different locations that you want Creo Parametric to search. So let me show you how to create a search path file. Let me cancel out of here and I'm going to exit out of Creo Parametric. And now I am going to fire up Notepad. And you can use whatever editor that you want, WordPad, Notepad++. Again, it's just going to be a file that lists all the different folders that you want to use. So for example, I know that sometimes I need to look in a folder for different fasteners. So I'm just going to copy this location and then paste it in here. And I'm going to do that for any other different folders that I want it to look in. So for example, I have a connectors folder over here and I'll go and add that one into my text file. And be aware that it's not going to search the subfolder, so you'll have to add in any other additional subfolders that you want it to look in. So now I am going to go about filling in my text file, and I'll come back when I've got all the different locations listed. All right, I've got a bunch of different folders with components that I want it to search automatically. And a word of caution, be aware that if you have a ridiculous number of folders in here, it can cause retrieval to slow down because Creo Parametric now needs to check all those different locations when trying to retrieve assemblies and it can't find different components. So now that I've got this filled out, let's save this and I'm going to save it in my C slash Creo folder and I'm going to call this search path dot pro. You can use whatever file extension that you want. Let me click the Save button. And now let me take a look in that particular folder. Here we have C slash Creo. And here is searchpath.pro. Ah, it's got a .txt on there. Let's, and you can use whatever extension that you want. Yes, I'm going to change the extension. That is good. Now let me edit my config.pro file. You can edit your config.pro file directly if you want, or you could do this inside of Creo Parametric. And let me go in here and I'll go down and add in a, another line and set my option, search path file. And that is going to be C drive, Creo, and what the heck did I call that folder, that file? Uh, let's see, I called it search-path.pro. That's good. Let's save this. And now I will fire up Creo Parametric. All right, I am back in Creo. Now let's try opening up those different assemblies again. And hey, no red here in the model tree. Everything was retrieved. Let's do that for the other assembly that I was working on. And hey, no red, everything was loaded. So again, that's how you can use that 
search path file config.pro option. And again, now since I edited my config.pro file, if I look inside of here, here I have the search path file that is set to that location I specified. I already have one in here. This is where it looks for the different IFX components, I believe. Uh, but again, that's how you use search path file so that you can reduce the chances of regeneration failures for retrieving assemblies that have missing components. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you learned something from this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.